Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests were turning up in the 80s with hits like Oh She Love, <laughs> Digital Display, and who can forget Let Me Love, love You Down. <laughs> yes, and with the resurgence of good old R&B, they are back on the scene with new music. Please welcome the group Ready for yeah. the World. Right. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yes. you. Thank you. Yes, girl, we, you are we are ready. We are ready for the world. Yes, we are. <laughs> I was so excited when y'all was coming. I was like, Ready for the world. <laughs> yeah, she really did. In that oh, voice. wow. That's yeah, in, in that, that voice. voice. Yes, yes, yes. I get very, very passionate mm -hmm. about singers, okay. especially um, singers and groups that have stood the test of time. Yes. And Thank for you. our, I mean, we know who you are, of course. Okay. But can you please um, introduce yourselves sure will. to our viewers? My name is Greg Potts, a.k.a. Mickey D. Penn. Mm. Yes. I'm Willie Triplett. I'm Joy Valentine, a.k.a. GV. GV. <laughs> and Gordon Strozier. <laughs> 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 He's going to keep it simple. Wow, right. wow, wow. Okay. Awesome, awesome. So, of course, we, we heard you from Oh, Sheila. It was a good time. Um, tell us a little bit about that time in music, in 80s music, and how it made you feel, how it made us feel. I think the 80s for, for myself and basically for all of us, because we wouldn't be here, was the best time of our lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were able to be trendsetters. With the hair, yeah. you know, and uh, with the pearls and yes, all that kind of stuff. Yes. But, you know, the competition was fierce back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Whitney Houston, we had Luther Vandross, Michael Jackson, and Prince, and all those things. Mm -hmm. And the Lord blessed us to be number one out of all of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the 80s was a great time for Man. us. Yeah. And, and you guys are from, from Michigan. Flint, it's Michigan. Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are, you know, that is a place where Motown mm -hmm. was kind of, you know, that was the, the energy of music Correct. in Michigan was mm -hmm. Motown. But you guys kind of were a little different from that, kind of more so along the lines of Prince. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you reminded me of, mm -hmm. especially with your look and everything. Mm -hmm. So how were you able to say, this is Motown, this is where we're from, these are our roots, but this is who we are. How were you able to, to um, bring your own mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I want to say, first of all, we love Detroit, but yeah. we are Flint all day long, mm -hmm. all night long, so we love the Motown sound, but Willie, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, our hearts go out to the Queen of Soul, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Prayers That's right. Uh, and as far as the music, we grew up in the 70s and the 80s, so mm -hmm. we were able to, you know, get that band feel, the, the disco, all of that culminated yeah. into our sound. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, and, and we met each other competing against each other in talent shows. Mm -hmm. So that competition drive we had to compete against what was being played on the radio as well is what really gave us our mm -hmm. sound. Right, right. Influences, yeah. You know, yeah, was absolutely. influenced right. with the cameos, the princes. Right. Mm -hmm. was our big influences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned those names, Prince, and, and you mentioned Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and those they, they had they, they succumbed to you know the things that happened in their lives and mm -hmm. drugs and, and that type of thing how were you able to not fall into that trap we had a fine system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if yes. you did if we couldn't do anything yeah. we had a strict yeah. fine system we created ourselves mm -hmm. and it cost you money yes uh, those mistakes would cost you money so yeah. mm -hmm. we never had those issues I know that's right. you yeah. kept our money language would cost you money mm -hmm. so really? in public oh, in yes. public wow yeah. what? even in yes. airports taxi cabs public yeah. embarrassment you can yeah. get really and these are rules that we created yes, yeah. yes yes mm -hmm. and it obviously worked yes, yes it did yeah now you guys have interchanged um members over the years Correct. What is your strategy and how and how you get your members to jail when they come in and they're new into your system? Well, well, I'm Gordon. I don't know if you not guys know, but uh, I had a kidney transplant, so mm -hmm. I had to have somebody come in. Derek Joshua came in and played for me for a while, or uh, uh, what's his name, Ninja? Ninja, Ninja came mm -hmm. and played while I was sick. Mm -hmm. and so uh, we had to do things to keep moving. Uh, to keep everything productive. Right. We, so. We've had the advantage and the benefit of great musicians around us. Right. Mm -hmm. Valdez Brantley, who mm -hmm. played for, you know, a Usher. bunch of your Usher, Chris Brown, mm -hmm. uh, Mary J. Blige. So, you mm -hmm. know, we, we've had that at our advantage as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. so we've been able to switch. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, well, when we come back, we want to get more into your business. All right. <laughs> All right. Don't go anywhere. Stay All with right. us. We'll have more with Ready for the World when we return. Right. Awesome. All right. So is it hard though to like for them to
And we are back on Sister Circle Live with one of the biggest bands of the 80s, ready for the world. Yes. 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 Yes, we are. And what's even more exciting is that you guys are on tour with Uncle Charlie. Hey. Uncle Charlie hey. Wilson. Yes. My God. That's right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Tour yes. Listen. Oh, well, let me tell you something. Charlie Wilson, y'all already know, is yeah. the bomb. He's and right. his live show is, out, is outrageous. Yep. He but is as the an, bar. He is the bomb. Yes. As, a, um, as an artist, I know, like, from the beginning of when I started to perform till na to, uh, up until now, there has been an evolution. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have been performing for many, many years. Mm -hmm. What does the stage mean to you now that you have gone through this many years mm -hmm. of performing? How is it different from when you first stepped on that stage as Ready for the World mm -hmm. till now? Nice. Well, there's not many bands left. That's, right. that's the big thing. Um, we still have like, uh, we miss Smith Condition. You know, I'm sorry about the situation with them, but man, it's just, we're the last of the bands. Mm -hmm. And we bring that to the stage, we bring that power, we bring that live bass, yes. we bring those live drums, you know, we bring live music. Mm -hmm. And yes. it just feels so good that we're still able to do that. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And now you are back with mm -hmm. a new single, That's So right. Much Life. Tell yes. us about this song. Well, you know, we've been on hiatus kind of for mm -hmm. a minute with mm -hmm. uh, bringing out new music. Mm -hmm. And um, it was time to bring out new music. Okay. You know, we never stopped recording. Want to let you guys know, we never stopped recording. We've all had studios in the house, yeah. and we've always been recording, but we never really had the opportunity to bring out this new music. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to Eugene Brown. Yeah. Eugene Brown broke tonight. He broke so much life. Oh, HugeRadio.com, everybody. HugeRadio.com. I want to give that, that shout out to him. So right. mm -hmm. we're back with a new record. It came on as 104 last week. Mm -hmm. Then it came at 55. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 51. Now, now we're 41 today. today. Wow. So all I can say is, look at God. That, oh I God. know it. That is so fantastic. <laughs> and Thank so, you. And listen, well, I want to know. So okay, so now that you have new music, and the and the industry you know is so different. changing, yes. so different. Mm -hmm. How do you still keep the Ready for World sound, mm -hmm. it, but still infuse it with what's going on now? Well, the Ready for the World sound is what's been here on the radio when yes. we was on hiatus. You know, uh, just about everybody has and been recreating our sound yeah. and, you know, what we yeah. do, our swag and everything. Yeah. So yeah. We're blessed because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, to, to have that long of a time next year be 35 years for mm -hmm. us. My wow. goodness. So, Congratulations. You know, for, for people to still appreciate our music is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Well, we definitely appreciate your music. I can tell you, last night, tonight, I was like, man, I was in love, <laughs> but I don't know who it was. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fine. Right, right, right. <laughs> right that's the yeah, jam. But you. we thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Tomorrow thank you. Oh, ATL Live on the right. Park. Shout out to Shanti if you're in ATL. That's right. And thank you so much for being with us today. The new single, So Much Life, is out now. And check your listings. Well, your local listings, they may be in your town soon. That's right. And the right. conversation always continues. It's just circletv.com. Ready for the world, everybody. Yay! Yay.